four left and right. And then the, the entrance scheme is, is northward throughout these four to the Praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. 
the humble shall hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look towards him and be radiant, let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him, and rescued him from all his distress. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. For everyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old creation has come, and now the new creation is here. It is all God's work. It was God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the work of handing on his reconciliation. In other words, God in Christ was reconciling the world to himself, not holding immense faults against them, and he has entrusted to us the news that they are reconciled. So we are ambas ambassadors for Christ. It is as though God were appealing through us, and the appeal that we make in Christ's name is, be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made the sinless one into sin so that in him we might become the goodness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. King of endless glory. I will rise and go to my Father and tell you, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Praise to you, O Christ. According to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collector and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they say, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke the parables to them. A man had two sons. The younger said to his father, Father, let me have the share of the state that would come to me. So the father divided the property between them. A few days later, the younger son got together everything he had and left for a distant country where he squandered his money on a life of the Bauchery. When he had spent it all, that country experienced a severe famine, and now he began to feel the pinch, so he hired himself out to one of the local inhabitants who put him on his farm to feed the pigs, and he would willingly have filled his belly with the husks the pigs were eating, but no one offered him anything. Then he came to, to his senses and said, How many of my father's pious servants have more food than they want? And here I am dying of hunger. I will leave this place and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as one of your paid servants. So he left the place and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with pity. He ran to the boy, clasped him on his arms and kissed him tenderly. Then. His son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, 
bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the calf we have been fertilizing and kill it. We are going to have a feast, a celebration, because this son of mine was dead and has come back to life. He was lost and is found, and they began to celebrate. Now the elder son was out in the fields and on his way back, and he drew near the house. He called here music and dancing. Calling one of the servants, he asked what it was all about. Your brother has come, replied the servant, and your father has killed the calf, and we had fainted it because he has got him back safe and sound. He was angry then and refused to go in, and his father came out to plead with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I have slaved for you and never once disobeyed your orders, yet you never offered me so much as give for me to celebrate with my friends. But for this son of yours, when he comes back after slowing up your property, he and his woman, you kill the calf we had been fettering. The father said, My son, you are with me always, and all I have, and all I have is yours. But it is only right to show, celebrate, and rejoice, because your brother here was dead and has come to life. He was lost and is found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tres pequeñas ideas sobre estas lecturas que acabamos de escuchar. La primera es, eh, nos encontramos en este Dominica Letare, Domingo de Alegría, de Alegrarse, que nos recuerda varias cosas. Es verdad que se suele, históricamente, era como cuando se vivía la cuaresma de una forma más dura que ahora, más potente. Ahora vivimos un poco una cuaresma light. Eh, las épocas en que se vivía fuerte la cuaresma era un día de descanso, de tranquilidad, de relajación, de relax, para eh, luego eh, emprender el último tramo con renovadas fuerzas y volver a esa cuaresma potente que se solía hacer. Y, eh, pero nos recuerda, además de esa relajación, nos recuerda que el ayuno, que la, vamos a decir, la penitencia, que la oración, que la limosna, no están reñidas con la alegría. Es una cosa importante, la alegría es, vamos a decir, algo que vemos en la vida de Jesús, algo que vemos que para Jesús era importante. Vemos un Jesús, en más de una ocasión, en el Evangelio, de buen humor, tomando el pelo, poniendo incluso eh, motes a los discípulos. Vemos una alegría que se puede entrever entre líneas cuando leemos el Evangelio y que entendemos es lo que quiere Jesús, no quiere una comunidad cristiana triste, dura, seria, sino una comunidad, bien, seria sí en el sentido de tratar de tomar con seriedad las cosas, pero también quiere una comunidad abierta, alegre, dialogante, incluso podríamos decir divertida. La segunda idea que quería decir en este domingo, Letare, sobre este Evangelio. Eh, estamos, hemos escuchado el Evangelio del hijo pródigo, la famosísima parábola de Jesús, vamos a decir que nos indica de una forma muy clara hasta dónde llega la misericordia de Dios. Vamos a decir, en, también en el Antiguo Testamento aparece la misericordia de Dios, también los judíos sabían que Dios era misericordioso, incluso los musulmanes, uno de los nombres de Dios es Dios misericordioso, es decir, es algo esencial a Dios la misericordia, pero Jesús nos quiere hacer entender que esa misericordia de Dios es más allá incluso de lo que nuestra mente puede entender. E incluso hasta la otra vida no vamos a llegar a entender hasta dónde llega esa misericordia de Dios. Y un ejemplo nos pone con este hijo pródigo que deja a su padre, gasta dinero de mala manera 
pero cuando vuelve conformándose con ser un siervo más, conformándose con tener un plato, un poco de pollo y arroz, lo que sea, su padre le agarra, le abraza y hace una grandísima fiesta. ¿Eh? Siempre que aparecen las parábolas de la misericordia, Jesús dice una fiesta. Habrá así una fiesta en el cielo, cuando encuentra la oveja perdida, cuando viene el hijo pródigo, cuando encuentra la moneda que se le había caído entre los agujeros, siempre habla Jesús de una fiesta, para que entendamos que Dios no solamente perdona, vamos a decir, como porque es bueno y es magnánimo, sino que de alguna manera antropomórfica se alegra muchísimo cuando nos arrepentimos. Eh, vamos a decir, evidentemente, eh, pero hay una alegría profunda en el cielo y nos pone este ejemplo de fiesta, una fiesta enorme cada vez que nos arrepentimos que pedimos perdón. Y la tercera cosa, y con esto quiero terminar, es una actitud que va unida a la humildad y a la no soberbia que quiere Jesús para los cristianos. Cuando uno, y va un poco unido con el Evangelio de ayer, cuando uno se siente muy bueno, cuando uno se siente mejor que los demás, cuando uno se siente que está haciendo todo de una forma perfecta, entonces tiende a ser duro con los demás, tiende a ser inflexible con los demás. Y es lo contrario que es Dios. Por eso Jesús nos quiere hacer entender que esa no es una actitud cristiana, que no quiere que en su comunidad seamos una comunidad cerrada, dura, inflexible, incluso aunque fuera para ser tremendamente virtuosos. No nos está diciendo que no haya que vivir la virtud, sino nos está diciendo que la comprensión, la acogida, el ser eh, caritativos, y en otros momentos nos dice la medida que uséis con los demás se usará con vosotros. Que no lo dice para asustarnos, sino para que seamos comprensivos, para que seamos abiertos, y no como el hermano mayor del hijo pródigo. Nosotros tenemos que, eh, cuando nosotros caemos y volvemos con toda humildad, con toda alegría, y cuando otros caen y vuelven, de la misma manera tenemos que tratar de participar de esa alegría, de esa fiesta del cielo. I Of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for us salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and he rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Now we can do with prayers. We pray for the church, for all of the bishops and priests that serve us, that they may be um, shepherds after the heart of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for peace in the world, we pray for Ukraine, we also pray for peace in all the places that are in conflict, we pray in a special way for those who are suffering the most because of violence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick among our family and friends, we pray in a special way for Lucy, for her intentions, for her healing. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. We pray for the promotion of the culture of life. We pray um, for the defeat of the bill being discussed, um, promoting euthanasia. We pray for all those that we know who are pregnant for their health, their pregnancies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. O oh Lord, hear graciously our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
of Lord, the Font of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be pounded out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Anthony our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your fast face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor of his Jews forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for the redeeming teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all these trees, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
O oh God, who enlighten everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing in your to your majesty, and love you in all sincerity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. May bless you, Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.